Okay, so in our previous video, we had talked about inspection. So in inspection, what would happen is that you would just input a certain file and it would inspect for all the info types that you had mentioned. It would not mask that particular file at all. It would just mention to you that these are the info types that are present. Now, let's say you have a document and this document contains a lot of valuable information which you would want to mask before you want to proceed and process that particular file. Now, to do that, what you would need to use is something called as masking. Now, what we will do in this particular video is we'll first create a masking template and once we've created this particular template, we'll use it to mask text or you can even use it to mask a structured data like a CSV file. So let's proceed and let's see how we can do that. Okay, I'm back in my data loss prevention. So let's go to our configuration and let's go to templates. So here, let's create a template. Let's click on create template. And here, instead of inspect, what you'll be using is the de-identify. And here you can choose either an info type or a record. So an info type is basically for a free text, free form text. You can even choose a record if you have some structured data like a CSV file. So for the first example, what we'll do is we'll just use the info type. Let's give the name for this particular template. Let's just call this as let's just call this as my template. And let's just make this as a global resource as well. Let's click on continue. Here you need to give a transformation method. So let's see all the transform transformation methods that are available to us. So let's click on this. And here you can choose how you would want to replace your particular data. So the most common thing that you can do is you can actually replace it with the info type name itself. So let's click on this. So here you have two options. You can either specify an inspection template. It's basically the same template that we had seen in the previous video, or you can specify a particular info type here as well. So let's click on manage info type and let's just choose, let's say a uh, city. If there is anything like that. or uh, let's just choose location let's click on location here and let's also choose name so let's see if there's name available a person name so let's just choose these two click on done and let's see how it would look like so this is basically an input that you have and this is how the transformed output would look like. So let's create this. And we can actually test this out here itself. So let's click on test. And let's just say that uh, my name is and here you can see the name and the city has been transformed. So here one thing to remember is that you have to give both your first name as well as your last name for this to work. So if I remove the first the, the last name, it will show the entire thing. So that's one important thing to remember. So you need to choose according to your needs. Okay, so once you've got this done, the next thing that you would want to do is you won't want to use this particular template in your piece of code. So what you need to do is you need to use the appropriate API for this particular template to work. Now, the API that you would need to use is this particular API. Now the link to this particular API I'll give in the description below. So here, all that you need to mention is basically the parent. The parent here is basically the project. So the project that I'm using is this that you can easily get from your console. So you can go to your console and you can select the project that you're currently in. And the next thing that you need to mention is basically the de-identify template name. So let's remove this and let's see from the beginning itself. So let's add the request body parameter. So the first thing that I would need to add is the de-identify template name. So let's copy this and let's add the template name. So the template name here is so this is the template name that I've just created. Let's copy this and let's paste it here. Okay, so we've got the template name and the next thing that we need to do is just add the item. So the item can either be a table, a template or a byte item. So a table would be a structured data. So a value would be just a normal plain text. So in this particular text field, what I'll add is the same text that I had tested over here. So let's copy this and let's paste it over here. and let's execute this and here you can get the same output so this is how you can use the api so the next thing that we'll do is again we'll go back to our template and this time we'll actually instead of creating a template for a free text we'll actually create it for a structured data let's click on create template again and let's again choose de-identify and this time we'll choose record and let's just call this as my 
template one again let's leave everything as it is let's click on continue and here you need to mention the template field column name so the column name that i would give would be pan so i'm going to just use this particular csv file that i that i had used in my previous chapter so i'd be using this and i want to de-identify this particular field called pan uh, this particular column called pan so let's and here i would match on info type so you either have the option of matching it on a particular info type or you can actually even choose your own primitive field transformation so let's choose the info type and here we need to choose the appropriate info type let's click on add transformation and let's choose replace with info type name and here you need to mention the particular info type so again you can either use the inspection template or specify the info type so here we know which particular info type we need so let's click on manage info type and let's choose the indian pan let's select this click on done so here what i will be doing is i will be inputting this particular csv file and whenever this particular csv file sees this particular info type it will replace it with this particular field that is the info type name itself so that's how simple it is so let's click on create and let's test this so again let's copy our file here and let's paste it here so here you can see that the free form is completely disabled so you only have the option of structured and here you can see how the output looks like so one thing you can do is you can actually use this in your api and check out if this works as well so the only difference that you need to do here is you just need to change the the de-identify template name would be different and the value here would not be a value but be a template it would be a table so i hope this was a useful lecture if you have any issues with this please get in touch with me i will see you in the next